human beings are magical creatures. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys an easy deep condition mask slash deep conditioner routine that you can get into about once a month, once every two months, however you feel or whatever your hair feels that it needs. But today we're going to be doing an avocado mask. Avocados are not only very good for you when eating, but it's also very, very, very good on your hair. And in a second, I'm just going to fast forward and go straight into the health benefits. Hey guys, and this is a few reasons why avocado is so great for your hair. The first reason is because it moisturizes your hair. The second is because it encourages hair growth and protects against damage and dryness thanks to vitamins B and E found in avocado. Three, it revitalizes damaged hair. Four, it improves shine. And five, it strengthens your hair all the way down to your follicle band. And well, only if you put it on your scalp. But this is what it's looking like right now. This is just two avocados mashed up in a bowl. Again, you only use the amount of avocado that your hair needs. So if you have really short hair, I, only re I would only recommend one avocado if your hair is as long as mine or is very thick then i recommend two or possibly even well two avocados should do it because you're going to also add conditioner to this mix so i made sure that the avocados were really really ripe not to the point where it's rotten but just really soft so then when you mush it up like this it's easier and before people ask in the comments about um, my gloves, because I have been getting a few comments asking why I wear gloves, it's not because I'm messing with any chemicals and putting it in my hair. It's just because I really hate the feeling of conditioner in between my fingers or um, underneath my nail beds. And I don't know why. I've always had that discomfort when it comes to like lotion and conditioner all up in my nails and everything. It, it's just very uncomfortable for me and I know there's probably some people out there just like that and wherever you are I recommend using gloves while doing your hair it doesn't make the process go by smoother at, at any way it just makes it easier for me to do my hair since I do not like the feeling of conditioner so for this um, hair mask we're just gonna need two avocados or however many avocados that you need for your hair we're gonna be using some peppermint oil and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward now so to, list you, to list all the benefits of peppermint oil. And then peppermint oil is a really quick one. So there have been studies showing that peppermint oil does stimulate blood flow. And a lot of people do believe that it does directly correlate to hair growth. And in my experience, it does. Because once I started using peppermint oil, I was beginning to see like faster results in my hair growth process, especially in the first couple years. We're gonna be using some Jamaican black castor oil. Again, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit so then I can list all the little nice vitamins and nutrients that it adds into your hair. Guys, so castor oil has quite a few benefits. The first one is that it prevents hair loss and protects against dandruff and scalp infections through its antibacterial and antifungal properties. Two is it increases blood circulation of the scalp, which promotes hair growth. Third is that it balances your scalp's pH, which replenishes the natural oils in your hair. And the fourth one is that it contains antioxidants that keep your hair nice and strong and healthy. We're gonna need a water bottle. And we're going to need a conditioner of your choice. Today I'm using the Aussie Moist Conditioner. But again, any conditioner that you have at home will work just fine. So to make this, I want most of it to be avocado. But at the same time, I don't want it to be as chunky as it is right now, as you can see. So I'm going to start off with three pumps of my conditioner. Actually, make that four. and just stir it in. It's still mad thick, so I'm gonna add about four more pumps of my conditioner. <laughs> There's like a little science experiment going on. <laughs> and again, all the chunks don't have to be out of the conditioner. 
And if you are the type of person that needs all the chunk out of your conditioner, I recommend using either a food processor, a blender, even a, like, not a mallet, but you know those little, it might be called a food mallet. I think it's called a food mallet to just mush up all of it. Or you can just take your time and mush up the avocado with a spoon or a fork. I recommend a spoon though because with a fork it'll go straight through those little um, tongs or however you say. It's still looking a little bit thick so I'm going to add two more squirts of conditioner. Okay guys so get it to about this consistency. Not all the way mushed up but mushed up enough and then begin starting to add your oils. So I'm going to first add in the peppermint oil. And for this, I think I'm just going to add about 5 to 10 drops. That's approximately 5 to 10. <laughs> Don't go too heavy on it though, because it, it does have a very strong smell. I love the smell of peppermint though, so I'm alright with it. And for this, I'm just eyeballing the castor oil. I would say add probably half a teaspoon of castor oil. Actually make it a full teaspoon. There we go. I would recommend doing this in clothes that you do not mind getting messy because if avocado, not avocado, if castor oil gets on your clothes, that stuff is stained forever. Or you can just do like me and wrap yourself in a nice towel before you get started. And what I'm working with now is a very stretched out hairstyle underneath this headscarf. It's the last hairstyle like the braided, um, the cute braided hairstyle. I'll leave a link either up here. I'm not really sure which side it goes on, but it's going to be in that little eye icon of that video. The cute braided hairstyle, or cute braided, cu cute cornrow hairstyle. I think that's what I named it. I've been, I have this style in for a little over a week now, and I've been just wearing it up in the ponytail for a like four days in a row and then for the remainder up until now i've been wearing it half up half down like with the braids all taken down except for the cornrow part and then if you guys do not have peppermint oil or castor oil Use an oil of your choice that you know works well in your hair, such as jojoba oil, coconut oil, tea tree oil, lavender. Well, lavender and citrus oil, it doesn't really do anything. It just adds the smell. But peppermint oil, I know, grows your hair. Or it helps grow your hair. All right, this is the result. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with underneath this headscarf. Let me take off these because this is my sleeping head scar. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> A hot mess. A hot mess. If you guys can't already see, it is extremely dry i don't know why i wait so long actually i do not know why i just wait so long to restyle my hair like i let it go until it can't go no more just look at this insane right absolutely insane but i'm gonna first go ahead and take down these wannabe cornrows i'm actually gonna put on a different shirt so then, just in case this decides to pop open and everything, I won't mess up this shirt with castor oil. So I'm gonna be right. Okay guys, I'm back. Taking down all my hair and then I split it up in, in half. 
And I'm gonna work on the back section first. So I'm gonna split this section even more in half and then I'm gonna tie it around the ponytail holder on this side. And I'm working on my left side first since that tends to be my hardest side to work with. Okay. And what you wanna do first is go ahead and wet it up. You don't have to get it soaking wet as if you're washing your hair because this will be washed out later. You just need it wet enough so then you're able to evenly distribute all of the um, avocado mask. And I'm contemplating whether or not I should like try to detangle my hair while doing it. I think I might like, no, I, I'm just gonna lightly detangle my hair because I do wanna go grocery shopping in a few. So I think that I'm just going to lightly detangle my hair as I'm putting the avocado on it and then I'm just going to tie it up, wrap a headscarf around it and then get ready to go. Because my hair is extremely tangled up in the middle section right here, right by my scalp. I feel like it would be best to probably just let <laughs> the avocado marinate on my hair before I even try to detangle it. I really need to learn my hair porosity though. Like all these years of being natural, I've never learned what my hair porosity is. So I'm gonna look up online how to find out my hair porosity. So then I can start doing things that benefit my hair porosity. Like I've honestly, I haven't even been paying attention to any of that stuff. I've honestly, or the hair typing system. I've just been doing whatever my hair feels is right for it. You know, I missed a little corner right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish wetting up this section and I'm gonna come back in a second to, actually no, I'm gonna finish wetting up the section and then when I apply the hair mask, I'm just gonna fast forward through that part as well. And all I'm doing when I'm applying the hair mask is taking a gob of it and just saturating my hair with it from root to tip. But I'm going to start at the bottom first. Actually, no. Since my hair is extremely matted right here, I'm going to start from the top and then I'll work my way to the bottom. Guys, and then as I mentioned beforehand, I'm just going to take a nice big glob of the avocado mask and saturate my hair. I'm going all the way from the root to the tip. I'm making sure that I saturate my ends with this product because they need some love too. But I also don't neglect my scalp and I make sure that I rub in the mask on my scalp and at the root of my hair. So then I can benefit from all the properties in the castor oil, the avocados, and the peppermint oil. And then just continue to do that until you're like fully satisfied with how saturated your hair is. And then you can move on to the process of lightly detangling. So what I like to do here is that I just like to gently pull apart the strands of my hair that seem to have the biggest tangles. So you see right there near the back of my head how it has a really large tangle. I just pull that apart so then it softens up so then when I do an actual detangling, it's easier for me to run through. Alright, and then once you're done lightly detangling, go ahead and twist up that section in a big chunky twist and you can move on to the next sections. And then for all the sections, you're doing the exactly same thing. You're wetting it up. You're applying the hair mask from root to tip. You're making sure that you massage your scalp and lightly detangle your hair. And then you twist it up in a chunky twist. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag, never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on, I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time but I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way Now I'm free, you gotta celebrate, you couldn't see everything and stay That that I wasn't afraid to say, yeah If I gotta choose me 
I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I was yours I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours I gave you all that you asked of me You like the view from behind But you won't make an ass of me That's why I'm saying goodbye Hopping out my feelings, get to the money Gotta keep it a hundred Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me So don't come looking for me I'm that bitch and I have it You forgot but I have it You was just a no habit So I'ma disappear like magic I'm that bitch and I have it You forgot but I have it now you wish that you had it But all I gotta say back is If I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to Okay guys, so I'm all done With putting the avocado on my hair I ended up using every last drop As you can see And what I'm gonna do now Is just put my hair to the top of my head And kind of make like a little bun So then when I put on my head scarf It doesn't look, you know, weird so just take all your hair, make sure you got every single strand saturated, including your edges in the back and in the front. Twist your hair around each other and do your little bun. And you can use like a heat cap, a shower cap, it all depends on how long you're trying to deep condition your hair. But I'm just going to use a regular degular Walmart bag. Kroger bag, whatever, just a regular decker, plastic bag. I'm gonna go get my head scarf real quick and I'll be right back. I'm back. So again, just tie your head scarf however you want it to if you're gonna just run errands like me. I'm probably gonna leave this in my head for, I'm trying to be realistic, probably six hours, honestly. Because I have a few things I want to do today. I like to tie it twice just in case for good measure. Try to get all of the plastic bag underneath the head scarf. And there you go. You're good to go. Hey guys. So it's been about, it's been over six hours. Let's just be real. It's starting to drip out of here. It's nice and warm. I can feel it and it low-key smells like bananas I can't lie like from a first whiff it smells like a banana Ooh, chilly together sticky as heck too anyway when I take this out I'm just gonna hop straight to like wash it out and what I'm gonna do to wash it out first I'm gonna make sure I rinse all the avocado and all the deep conditioner out of my hair just get it all out you know i don't want any little traces and then i'm going to shampoo my hair with the dr bronner's castiel soap which i'll show in a second and then i'm also going to condition my hair with the ozzy moist conditioner i'm not going to focus that on my roots though i'm going to only focus that on the middle section and the ends of my hair and i'm going to make sure that i detangle while the conditioner is in my hair so then I don't have a lot of work to do when I'm doing the wash and go. Okay, let me show you guys the products real quick. Okay. So here's the Dr. Bronner's Castiel soap. Let me shine a little bit some more light on that. Yes, I love the lavender. It lasts so long, bro. I know it costs a pretty penny at first, like 20 bucks or something before this big of a jar and how long I've had this since December 2018 okay and look look at that I still have enough for the rest of this year probably 
let's just be real like we did that on that and then here's the thing i'm going to be conditioning with the aussie this moisty really does get your hair squeaky clean at least it does for mine when i whenever i use it it gets my hair squeaky clean and i don't want to strip all the good stuff that was already put into my hair with the avocado out so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wash this out and i'll see you guys soon you guys i almost forgot to show you what my hair looks like before i rinse it out like what was i thinking <laughs> So this is the second bag. I already took off the third bag. Ooh, chili the ghetto. Knows my name. Anyway, this is what we're working with right now. And honestly, it's very warm because of um, the heat of my hair. But look, it kind of looks like a mud mask, doesn't it? It doesn't have a really bad smell, which is good. Again, I remind you, I have not combed it whatsoever. But this is the result of that mask. I'm only going to pull apart this one so then you can see. But yes, darling. I hope everybody is having a very blessed life and if you're not i really hope that you find ways to make it the best life that it could ever be and i also want to wish all of you guys peace love and light